Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy and to another open with me. And this is for the new inside crochet, which I had thought weren't coming anymore. And I believe I'm one behind. They uh, didn't send me last month. Um, I'm gonna make sure, but um, I just feel like it's been a long time. So I'm just, oh, there's a free gift as well. Let's get those out. Get rid of the paper and my address page. And we'll have a little look, see what we've got. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be informed when new videos pop up. Well, hopefully you will. So we've got bright cotton for all budgets, soft, squishy badger friend, which is up here. Um, inside crochet, pretty shell cami. Um, we've got this one, obviously, and reflections wall hanging, which. I can see straight away it's not symmetrical, so it's not really doing me any good. Starburst throw, that looks pretty. We've got cushions that are the nice um, oblong type rectangle shape. Fabulous boho chic, looks like an earring to me. And holiday wardrobe. So as crochet is becoming quite fashionable, lots of designers are using it on the catwalk and um, lots of the singers and everything else are sported wearing it. It's becoming more, um, well, a bit of a bonus for us that can do it. So we've got creative interiors, nature-inspired wall art, um, pretty motif meadow blanket and a gingham storage box. And we've got this free gift, which is summer style. Six stunning crochet designs to see you through the warmer months in glorious colour. So we'll get to that at the end and we'll just concentrate on the magazine for now. And we've also got airy shrug, tapestry blanket and a messenger bag. I like a messenger bag. So let's hope it's not, let's hope it doesn't suck basically. So here we go. Don't like this page, I never do because, um, well, I just don't like these thumbnails. I think they're way too small. Um, number seven is what? This six, nine, it doesn't tell you what it is, but apparently it's this. I hope that's not their idea of a messenger bag because it isn't, probably not. Let's let's move on. So we've got the usual um, little editorial bits and places to find stuff and all that. And then we've got, um, in the spotlight today is, where are we? Pastel, in a range of flecked pastel coloured ways, the Rico Creative Cotton Flecky Fleece combines wool, cotton and acrylic to create hardware and DK yarn that's great for making pretty garments and accessories. Well, I made my tote bag out of Rico Creative Cotton, but it didn't have, wasn't flecky fleece. New one. Project notes, nice little notebook for projects, but they are £9.98p. Well, summer tote and pin protection? Never, oh, it's about your needles, not, um, not, your, not your bank account. <laughs> When you think of pin, I don't know these days. Just think of that. Right, okay. So moving on then, we've got um, some yarn reviews for sun, Sunshine Days, it's called. We've got the Drops Saffron, which is £1.15 for 50 grams, which uh, isn't bad. We've got Sheep is Sun Kissed, 2 79 for 100 grams. Rowan... Handy knit cotton, which is five pounds sixty for fifty gram, but Rowan is always expensive. Sirdar Happy, which is twenty grams, and that costs ninety nine p. And we've got Malabrigo Verano, eleven pound ninety nine for a hundred grams. So something for all the budgets, I guess. Food for thought. We always get a little recipe. So this is roasted butternut squash with courgettes and feta cream. Sounds nice, but mostly I can't have it because I'm on a low carb diet. And um, we've got a bit about Sheepy's Whirl here. Looks like lovely ice cream in a bowl. Good advert that, quite sweet. So now we look at the books. Okay, Zumigurumi favourites, £18.95 for an Amigurumi book. The books are getting expensive. Curious Crochet Creatures, I wonder if it is because of all the price rises that we've been seeing, or if it's because crochet is way more popular now that it's fashionable. 
I don't know. Uh, crochet bees, bugs and butterflies, fourteen ninety nine. New school macrame, uh, fifteen ninety nine. US terminology that one. That also Zumigurumi is US, and so is Curious Crochet Creatures. Sign of our times that YouTube is teaching us crochet. I guess. Well, it's not to be sniffed at, I suppose, because that's me. Okay. A year full of colours. Meet our bloggers. Okay, no, not today. Not today. I haven't got time for that. In full bloom. Is this more? More books? I don't think it is. What, what is this? Uh, full home colour. Just projects. Okay. I'm not really sure I like the way they do these little, um, little things to read. They're never very big. But then, you know, it is a... A strange magazine, I find, this one. The Sustain Sustainable Sister Act. Heidi and Pia Johansson are the Danish duo behind Crea Deluxe, a yarn brand that fuses ethical sourcing and beautiful design. Well, it's very pretty yarns. They do look nice. They do. But, you know, we've got quite a lot of recycled yarns now. In fact, on uh, my website... Hobby Rocks, I've got quite a few now. Going to get more, obviously, but that was more ethical sourcing rather than recycle. Perfect Harmony, that looks like a nice top. I wonder, let's have a look. Is it in? Ah, oh, we're getting to the pages now that show the designs that are in the book. Thank goodness for that, guys. Thank goodness for that. At least they do show them large because some of their thumbnails are ridiculously small. So with this, this one looks quite interesting. Uh, yarn by Debbie Bliss on one of these. Both of them. Coral tea. That was this one. Okay, and we've got... Oh, this is the messenger bag. It is a proper messenger bag. That's good. And it is a cross body. I'm not sure about this. It looks a bit clumsy the way it goes like that and then slants again. I think I'd have to do something different with the flap. But it is a long one. Look at that. That is long. Get a lot in there. You know what will happen if you get a bag that big, don't you? Your other half puts all his stuff in it. I'm just saying, that's what happens to me. I quite like this. This is a dress. I don't think I'd put the little frills on it, though. Just plain straps would be nice. Rick Roomy novelty, twinkly, twinkly and spin, spin. <laughs> At least I managed to get all that out without fluffing it. Uh, dishcloth yarn. Now, I did try and stock this. Uh, in my, I've got a new order coming soon from um, King Cole and I did notice it and I said oh can I have some of the dishcloth and that was sold out um, but they did have normal cottons but they didn't have the dishcloth I did want to get that but next time maybe Calming Crochet that's quite sweet quite busy but as they're subtle colours it's not too bad unless it's just the... oh we've got little pictures again now well we've got this throw with lots of mandalas in it We've got the cushions and the, I don't, I'm sorry, but let's get up close and personal with this. Look at, I don't do things that are that wonky. It kind of jars my head. I can't do it, especially the fringing not being on the other side. You know, I'm just saying. I used to say I can't do things that are wonky and my mum said, so if I bought you diamonds that was more on one side and not on the other, you wouldn't wear it. I said, might make an exception. <laughs> might, might make an exception for that. So we've got a cute badger. We've got the dragonfly. I like this. That's nice. I do like that. Because they're not massive. That's actually really nice. I like that. We've got a basket. And um, that looks very difficult, doesn't it? probably isn't as hard as it looks but it does look knitted like fair isle doesn't it more adverts and these are the make it sections thought we'd already hit that you know but obviously not there's the coral tea i like it i like it because it's not row after row of boring treble crochet or double us crochet but i couldn't wear anything with these sleeves i'm sitting here now with a vest top on which you will never see me wear because of the tops of my arms I'd n I need a little sleeve. Um, so I, if I made anything like that, I'd have to have a little sleeve. Just for me, because, you know. Yes, just for me. 
This is a nice little misty cami. I like that. I like the pattern. That is pretty. I like that one. There it is. Picture of the pattern itself. That's nice. Very, very nice. And it goes all the way up to a 5XL from an extra small. And then we've got this dress. Now, I do like it, but I'd make it that big. Um, I'm not into long. Um, it would have to be a, kind of a mini dress, but not too many. I mean, I'm not really that daring. Above the knee, in, um, you know. But I like it. It's got some potential. Not with the thrills, though. I'm not really into the, the frilly bits. So this is the Airy Petrol sh Shrug. And at first glance, I like that. But when I see the back, I'm not so sure. It's a bit on the baggy side. But here's lots of instructions on how to do it. Subscribe today. Save £38 on 12 issues. So there you are. Let linger on there just for a bit if you want to do that. Now this is the, oh, what? Ale Yak Pullover. Where do they get the names from these things? Anyway, it's quite pretty. I like that. I like the fact that the sleeves are not really baggy and they are actually three quarter length as well. So it would be my kind of thing, but it's a bit short. I'd need it to cover my tummy. So I would have to <laughs> keep going with a pattern for a ways for me. And here's the charts to tell you how to do it all. Now, I don't think this is actually in here this is Bernat softy cotton so um just a bit of an advert but i like that you probably if you went on their website you could probably get that pattern though and oh my goodness i've got another visitor i've got gemma now hopefully i'll get this done before um they can just go out the garden <laughs> got charlotte here now i've got four red cars outside the house so this is the mess messenger bag it's called hoy Hoy bag. I like it, I do, but I'm not so sure about the flap, as I said before. And here's all the instruction pages. I'll have to pause it in a second when Gemma gets here. So this is the Starburst throw. I really, really like this one. That's actually something worthy of me actually designing that. Okay, and there's the kind of chart that helps you do it. I'm just going to pause it for a second while I speak to Gemma. Okay, so I'm back with a garden full of guests. <laughs> so I'll go out there a bit later. But yeah, I really, really like this one. I actually do. But having looked at it, the way it's made, it's not in the crochet. You have to embroider all of those on by the looks of it. That may be a major flaw. <laughs> I do like the look of it. I do. Nice. Here we go. Reflection necklace to go with your dress. That's actually quite snazzy. Especially if you could use something that made it weighted. So it didn't go like that. But that's nice, I like that. And the earrings. If you're into making macrame inspired summer earrings. I can't wear hoops. They don't, they don't, they kind of go outwards like that on me. They don't go like that. My ear holes are the wrong kind of shape. I think I had an amateur pierce my ears. I quite like this dragonfly. It's very intricate, isn't it? I mean, that is really delicate work, but it does look nice. Very clever. Oh, nice. I like it though. We'll make one that was prone to pounce. Wow. I like it though. It's kind of pretty. Okay, so the Dorothea mosaic blanket. It is nice. I quite, I quite like it. It's more subtle. If they'd used jazzy colours, I'd be going, let's move on. But um, they've used quite naturals and neutral colours. They're quite nice. I think this bit, though, I would do both in this colour. I wouldn't do it like that. I mean, the other, all the others have the whole thing made out of the one colour. But that bit there is split. And I don't think I'd split that. Yeah, I'd do it the same. Like, mm, just saying. But there's all the info and the charts and everything for that. And we've got the basket. Minty Tones storage basket. Now, that is quite pretty. You'd need something to keep it stiffened, I think, to stop it from being a bit floppy. 
Summer Meadow Blanket. Now, this is the one with all the, the mandalas or the rounds. I like that. That's quite sweet. Hmm. Might be interesting. It's got massive tassels that hang off it. So this is in next month. We've got another wall hanging. Oh, yawn. I really don't know. I, don't, I can't get into wall hangings. We've got a granny square kind of top. Everyone's making those at the moment. And we've got a dolly. Bright contemporary garments, stunning statement homewares, pretty toys and accessories. You can do, have the digital issue. Um, yeah, that's, that's that one. Now we've got the cushions. You'd need cushions on that sofa, I'm just saying. Yeah, I've seen those a few times already. Cloud busting wall hanging. Oh my word, we'll move swiftly on. I cannot just fathom why. Mary the Badger. I like Mary the Badger. Is named after one of the designer's favourite friends. Maybe her name is Mary Badger. Because my sister has a friend um, called John Badger, who was their neighbour. So maybe her name is Mary Badger. Wouldn't that be fun? So there's all the info on how to make Mary the Badger. And how to crochet. We know we're at the end now of the magazine. So we'll have a little look at the summer style. We can skip over those. They're always the same. Oh, he's sweet. Oh, is he a walrus? No, he's a seal. See what I mean? I never identify them. Like a walrus to me. I know it's not now. I always get embarrassed. I just cannot identify these animals. But <laughs> they could be really good as well. I knew it was a badger though, so having said that, hers must be brilliant. So here we've got the summer style. Six stunning crochet designs to see you through the warmer months in glorious colour. Okay. Wow. Look at that. That is very colourful. Now you could actually, if you wanted to, put a bit of a colour design in there, couldn't you? Flower mosaic shawl. Might be a bit tedious joining it together, but if you really fancy having a go at that, that's quite nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now what's this one? Hat. It's a hat, guys. There we go. I was looking at her armpits. I kept thinking that doesn't look crocheted, that top. But it isn't. It's the hat. Wow. Now this is nice. We've got the Coachella cardigan. Now there's an awful lot of hexy cardigans going on at the moment. And my latest hexagon, I was going to have a go at making it into a cardigan. I still haven't got around to doing that. But I quite like this more than the hexy cardigan, I'd say. That's pretty. And what else we got? The, oh, I don't like this font. <laughs> Lith, Lithodra Poncho. Why don't they just call it something normal, for goodness sake? Light and lacy design has the feel of a shawl, but with a poncho style, and I'm sorry I whistled then. That's the back. I'll try not to whistle anymore. And there's the chart, so. Quite nice. And we've got this, oh. R Rosen top, Rosan. Can't even sort of. Why? <laughs> it's got roses in it anyway, as you can see. Nice rosy design. And there's a chart, which I do love a chart because if you didn't want to make that top but you quite fancied that rose somewhere else, you can use it. I do love a chart for that. Carousel sweater. Well, not sure. If it was longer, yeah and the sleeves are not too long which is cool so that doesn't look like it though does it what's going on there is that the previous page yes that's the previous page yep yeah, this is the new one okay so there we go reminds me very much of something i made with my mum many years ago but it wasn't that at all so there you go this is the new inside crochet and the free supplement of summer style what do you think do you like it? I don't like the wall hanging. I hate the wall hanging, I have to say. But that's just my personal opinion. So thank you for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.